Thank you for joining me today. Before we get started, I want to take a minute to tell you about a new app called Get Upside that we at the Rideshare Guy have been using to save up to 25 cents per gallon on gas. Pretty awesome. The app is completely free to use. All you have to do is upload your receipt after you buy gas and then cash gets added to your account. The cash adds up over time and you can deposit your funds straight to your PayPal account whenever you want. Some drivers are using GetUpside to save $50 per week just buying gas from their favorite gas stations. So now listen closely because this deal gets even better. I'm going to give you a short code that'll get you an additional $0.15 cents per gallon sign-up bonus. So you just download the GetUpside app from the App Store, open the app, and enter the promo code. It's WQ8JR. Now, another way you can get your $0.15 cent per gallon sign-up bonus is to visit the rideshareguy.com forward slash getupside app. That's G-E-T and then upside, U-P-S-I-D-E, and then app, A-P-P. Check it out. All right, let's start the show. Welcome to the Rideshare Dojo. If you're an Uber or Lyft driver or anyone in the gig economy, this is the place for you. With tips and techniques, interviews with passengers and industry leaders, entertainment, inspiration, motivation. Here, with over 23,000 rides, is your host, Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Instacart drivers, Postmates, Ease, Zoom drivers, DoorDash, Via, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime Now, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all you drivers and passengers and all of us who are part of this big, beautiful gig economy, welcome. It is so great to have you here for today's exciting episode. My name is Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey everybody, it is Jay, and I am recording this on December 26th. No, scratch that. (laughs) It's not the day after Christmas. It's December 27th, so we are finishing up the year, and uh, what I'm going to do today is share with you seven rideshare driving predictions for 2020. I am sitting here at my desk listening to some John Coltrane. Just love John Coltrane. I listen listen to him in my car every morning when I drive. So uh, 2019 is coming to an end. It was a fantastic year. Great year in so many ways. Uh, I hope you had a great year. I hope you got a lot of work done on your plan B, in addition to making some good money and uh, having a good time as a driver. So what I did, uh, Harry, the rideshare guy, asked me to write an article on uh, some predictions. And I do a lot of research. I do a lot of reading uh, when I'm coming up for article ideas and, you know, how I read the news occasionally um, on this podcast. So based on all that, I came up with uh, my own predictions, things I think will happen or will not happen in the new year. And as you listen to this, think for yourself, you know, make up your own mind. What do you think? Does it sound like bullshit or does this sound like uh, something that will or will not happen, right? Okay, let's get into them. Prediction number one, number one, driver pay will not increase and it will not decrease. So I am predicting that Uber and Lyft will not continue the trend to cut pay. I believe that we have uh, got them kind of in a, between a rock and a hard place here, because of course they don't want to pay us more, right? That would be, uh, that would be disadvantageous for their bottom line. But given that they're fighting this strong battle in California with AB5, right? Um, They can't really uh, cut our pay anymore because that will really look like they control our pay which of course they do, but that would just be a further like nail in the coffin uh, saying that, you know, um, these guys are are not independent contractors, right? (laughs) If they keep controlling us in all the ways that they control us. 
independent contractors are free to set their own prices. So if they were to further cut our our rates, I don't th- I think that would hurt them in the long run. Uh, it might help their bottom line a little bit, but in the big picture of things, um, they could lose this fight uh, against the state of California to classify us as uh, as employees. So bottom line, no no change, no increase, no decrease for drivers' pay. Prediction number two. Rates for passengers will continue to increase slightly, just slightly. So Lyft has already started this, uh, increasing the rates just a little bit. And and I'm predicting that Uber will also start to increase the rates just a little bit. Um, As we've seen in the past, Lyft will do something and then Uber will follow. And then in other times, Uber will do something and Lyft will follow. And the majority of the time, that's how they they work together. Um, And it really is a form of price fixing, which, of course, is also illegal. But uh, that is how these two companies have been operating, uh, at least since I've been around for the last four years. Now, why will the rates increase? Because uh, Uber and Lyft need to make a profit. Their stocks absolutely tanked this year in 2019. And they've got a lot of pressure on them, a lot of pressure to... Uh, become profitable. I read one article that boldly predicted Uber would turn a profit in 2020. I I predict that will not happen, but uh, I do predict that the rates for the the passengers pay will increase slightly. And I don't think it's going to have a big impact on demand, right? Taking an Uber and a Lyft, I compared it to crack cocaine. You know, people are addicted to it. No one's going to stop using the service over a few cents or even a few dollars. Um, in, in my market of San Francisco, I can drive somebody from downtown San Francisco all the way to the airport for approximately $25. Would someone balk at $30? I don't think so. $30 to get in a car by yourself, be driven uh, right to the gate, to the door, and dropped off for $30. Would that $5 difference change people's behavior? I don't think so. So I think Uber and Lyft, because of the quality of the service, um, I think they can stand to increase their rates, uh, move the trend towards profitability, and still uh, still uh, have the, the high demand that they do have for their service. So prediction number two, rates for passengers will increase slightly in the new year. Prediction number three, demand for drivers will increase. So the fix is in. Humanity likes things fast and easy. That is the trend, right? Um, I'll read what I wrote in my article. We want an item we purchased on Amazon to show up at our door the same day. We want an Uber or Lyft. We want to get picked up within five minutes. When we want to get high, we want someone to deliver our weed as quickly as possible. Later, when we get the munchies, we want our five guys bacon cheeseburger with fries delivered to us within minutes, right? More autonomous vehicle companies are working to improve their cars, which require drivers to drive the AVs eight hours a day, five days a week, all around the city. And more people want stuff fast. So this is just going to keep increasing, and and these companies need drivers. I can tell you as the advertising manager for the rideshare guy, a lot of the companies that are approaching us are looking for drivers. They want to reach out to the drivers and either find new drivers or take drivers who are driving for one company and convert them to another company. So there is a, a demand now, and the demand will increase given human nature. People want things fast, they want them easy, and driving pe- driving things, driving people from one place to another is going to continue to increase. Prediction number four, Uber and Lyft will force public transportation to improve. Uber and Lyft will force public transportation to improve. Have you ever been to Malaysia? I have. And when you land at the airport in Malaysia, you can take a taxi or an Uber, or you can take the train. And I usually opt for the train. It is a beautiful experience. It's uh, new and, and, and clean, and you sit in your little compartment, and you have access to free Wi-Fi, and it moves fast and smooth, and you can look out at the countryside, and as you zip through cities and tunnels, and 
and boom, and then you 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 land, you stop at your stop, which is in the middle of the city, and you you do a little walking. Uh, it's a fantastic. Or there, or from there, you can take an Uber, right, to get to your final destination. Same thing in Copenhagen when I visited my daughter. Um, everyone takes the train. The rich, the poor, doesn't matter. It's public transportation. There's an awareness that taking public transportation is very good for the environment. Uh, and it's it's a pleasant experience. No one feels endangered. And um, it just works, right? So given that Uber and Lyft are, are having more and more people get out of our public transportation and into cars, public transportation is going to have to improve if they want to uh, survive. And they have to survive because they are by far the most efficient way for people to move around. And it works in other countries it has to work here. So that's my prediction that Uber and Lyft, demand for Uber and Lyft will force public transportation to at least start planning to improve, um, to move us around. I would love I would love to be able to just get on a train and zip to the airport, right? That sounds fantastic. Um, or zip down to Los Angeles. The easier it is, the nicer it is, the cleaner it is, the smoother it is, the more... Uh, um, little benefits like Wi-Fi, you know, snacks, the better. Number five, prediction, Jay's prediction number five. Neither Uber nor Lyft will make a profit in 2020. I predict neither Uber nor Lyft will make a profit in 2020. I did read an article where one guy says he thinks it's going to happen. Um, the, the companies are saying they're going to uh, have a profit in 2021, uh, we shall see. How, it really depends how this year goes. But um, neither company, I predict, will make a profit this year. And this is not such a revelatory prediction. Um, Uber, Uber lost like $6 billion in two quarters uh, in 2019. So they've got a long way to go. However, if they do um, start increasing the rates a little bit, you know, and some things like their Uber money starts to work for them, um, they can get there. And I believe Uber has a better chance of becoming profitable than Lyft. I feel Uber uh, takes more chances. They're far more innovative. They're more disruptive. And uh, they're willing to spend money on ventures like Kareem, which is a rideshare service in the Middle East, uh, things that could help them turn a profit. Okay, prediction number six. This is a big prediction. Dara Khosrowshahi, Khosrowshahi will be replaced as Uber CEO. Khosrowshahi, Khosrowshahi will be replaced as Uber CEO. Dara K, as he is known, because nobody likes to try to pronounce his name, Khosrowshahi. Okay, um, why? Why do I predict he will be replaced as CEO? Well, Uber continues to take quite a few hits, right? They uh, just released the safety report last month. Safety report did not look good for Uber. While the percentage of assaults was very small, most media reported on the big number of over 3,000 assaults per year inside of Uber cars. Half of those are for passengers and half of those assaults were for drivers. Uber also reported a $5 billion quarterly loss. And then what I think is kind of like a nail in the coffin is... Uh, most recently, Dara K stepped on it when he made this comparison between an autonomous car accidentally killing a pedestrian and the murder of the journalist in Saudi Arabia, the murder of Jamal Khashoggi. And he said this on HBO. I still don't know how those words came out of, out of his mouth, but they did, and he, he backtracked that. So I think he's just one or two pieces of bad news away from, uh, from having to step down. Uh, when a when a CEO steps down, a new CEO comes in with a brand, with a new energy. It's like a new beginning, and they might just need uh, just another little push of a fresh energy to really push them over the edge um, into profitability. Of course, they replaced uh, uh, Travis Kalanick. Uh, he was replaced by Dara Kay, and it might just take one more to kind of wash all the stink off of the uh, off of the company. We'll see. We'll see. That's just really a gut feeling. Uh, 
and just looking at kind of the trend of the bad news that has happened and the, um, the demand of the market uh, to turn a profit. All right. And prediction number seven is the rideshare dojo and the rideshare guy will keep delivering for you, the drivers. So here at the rideshare guy, you know, we are 100% committed to bringing you the news, the updates, the tips and strategies so you can make more money in less time. That is our main goal. We're always on the lookout for stories that we think can impact you and your work. We're looking for interviews with drivers uh, that can teach you something that you might not know. So whether you drive for Uber, Lyft, Caviar, or an AV company or Ease, we'll continue to bring you multiple stories. We bring you articles. We bring you YouTube videos. We bring you podcast episodes, all of it. And we love what we do, and we look forward to doing more of it in 2020. All right? So bring it on 2020. By the time you guys are listening to this, it will be 2020, and uh, the new year will have begun, and uh, let's rock it. Let's let's crush 2020. Uh, uh, soon I will be in Bangkok for the month of January, and I'll be doing some episodes from Bangkok, and I'll bring you some local flavor from Bangkok, from Thailand, share some experiences with you there, so stay tuned. All right, that's a wrap. Fist bump. Fist bump. Fist bump. There you go. Uh, to all you drivers out there, you all rock it out there every day. I honor you. Thank you for sharing your journey with me. Be safe out there. This is Nomad J saying, this episode is in the can. If you're thinking about starting an online business, definitely check out my website at nomadj.com, where you can get my free ebook called What's Next? How to do online work you love from anywhere in the world. That is nomadjay.com. I also do a daily one minute per day podcast called Nomad Daily, in which I share different aspects of life. Uh, Nomad Daily with Jay Creator is available wherever you get your podcasts. People are really liking it. Check it out. You just uh, subscribe, and then every day you're just going to, it's going to automatically load up, and you're going to get the next episode, and you just listen for a minute to a minute and a half, and boom, you're done. And uh, it's great. I'm really enjoying doing that. All right. Next episode, more news, interviews, all things Rideshare Dojo for drivers and all of us in the gig economy. I will do my best to bring you the best here in the dojo. This is Jay Crater saying thanks for entering the dojo every Monday and Thursday. Drive happy and be safe out there. Loved this episode of the Rideshare Dojo podcast? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. It really helps, and it's very much appreciated. Be sure to visit RideshareDojo.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. Thanks for listening, and be safe out there.